Welcome back to Grizz Vision. My name is Neil Rule here with Coach Campy, live at Illinois after a 64-53 loss in camp. You know, you guys led for just about the same amount of time that they led in the game here tonight. But in the end, coming down the stretch, the, the offense just kind of got away from you guys there. Yeah, I think anybody that sees a score is going to say, oh, you know, they have no idea how this game went. You know, we, we, we got off to an eight-point lead. We played great, you know. I'm going to say this. I think Illinois, in all my years of doing this, is one of the best defensive teams that I've ever seen. And they, we we punched them right in the mouth at the beginning of the game. Golke buried a three, Lampman buried a three. We got a steal out of the zone. You know, we got up eight nothing and he called timeout. And from that point on, man, we didn't sniff an, an open shot. Everything that we got, we had to run over and rescreen and Trey had to go one-on-one -on -one, and Golke and Blake just weren't gonna get any open looks. And we battled our tail off. Uh, you know, it, it was a hell of a game. We guarded. We really guarded too. It was it was one of the better defensive games I've ever been involved with, especially from their side. Our side was pretty good. I'm going to take the blame though because we had a chance to win, and I did not do a good job of substituting in the second half. And Trey got tired, and you know we missed some easy shot. Not easy. Nothing was easy, but we had some decent open looks. Yeah, yeah. yeah a and we open just looks. we were just we were tired. I played 11 guys and many double-digit minutes, but. Uh, I mean, you're always going to second guess yourself, and maybe if I'd have given him a little rest here and in that, maybe, maybe it would have been different. But you know, as I told them in the locker room, they're they're going to play 20 home games. Place was packed, crowd was going crazy. What an atmosphere! And they're not going to lose. You know, the the best teams in the country they they already beat Kansas. The best teams in the country are going to come in here and not play them as well as we played them. And when it fell apart in the last four or five minutes, that's going to happen to a lot of really good teams. So let's learn from it. Let's figure out why it happened. Let's move forward. And, uh, and I think we will. Ken, if you look at it here, two games, two Big Ten gyms, you guys led for more time than you didn't lead in totality. Are, are, are you surprised what you guys have been able to pull off here in these first two games? No, I think anybody that's been around me this summer and and uh, has, I've talked to you about our team. I mean, I've got some, I got some question marks. You know, the point guard position uh, has got to get better. Uh, I played Lampman there a lot tonight, and that when I'm playing him there, he's doing a good job. But it's taken away from him not being in the other spot. You know, um, DQ has got to learn. Um, I like DQ a lot. This was, I mean, kid from Pontiac that you know played division two junior college basketball is playing in front of 15,000 people going nuts and it's a new experience for him and I thought he played okay but he's a lot better than he's playing and so I see great go growth in our team getting Baru back was huge playing him was a, playing him that many minutes hurt our team because he made some critical errors because he didn't know what he's doing he's practiced four times so you know we ran a play we had a layup he didn't know that was the first option that was stupid on my part to put the ball in his hands like that um, he was he's at the basket and a couple of layups they got in the second half at critical times he left the basket because he's the zone is it's hard it's it you got to learn it and the only way you learn is to make mistakes I probably shouldn't have put him out there in a game like this that we had a chance to win but I need him right and we got Detroit in three weeks and the league starts I got playing and so I was caught with that it hurt us a little bit but in the long run it'll help us all right, Camp. Long ride home. Let's uh, let's get home. We'll be back at the arena on Tuesday night. Greg Campy show on Monday night, by the way, six o'clock yeah. at RJ's Pub. Yeah, we got the radio show back up, and then we got Bowling Green coming in, and I think they're they're a pretty good team. And you know, a schedule's so hard. We got to find some wins. You know, we, we, yeah, we played Ohio State, had a chance to win. Yeah, we played Illinois, had a chance to win. But we got to get some wins, and and uh, you know, we'll get back to work and see what we can do. I, I'm very optimistic about our chances. Um, we've we've got to clean some things up. Uh, but man, I like I like my guys. Thanks, Cam. Yep.